I'll get started with the rules. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Surprise Trivia Night. Um, I am Jennifer, and I'm here with my uh, friend and a co-worker, <laughs> Jeanette, from the uh, Beakley Community Library. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you know exactly what to do, but for those who don't, if I can forward, thank you. So just rules of the game and what we're going to be going through. Um, please no yelling out answers. So that means that if you're getting a pen and paper and you get to write down your answers for yourself. Um, brain power only, please do not look up the answers. That ruins the fun for everyone. Um, there's no way for us to check your work. So this is honor system for points. And also with that, spelling and pronunciation does not matter for you. And it certainly does not matter for us as we struggle through some hard words. <laughs> Um, had fun, of course, and um, to be eligible for a prize, we would love if you can submit your contact info um, with this URL right here, and I'll include that in the chat as well as we get towards the end of the game. Um, if We'll go through this again, but if the URL is not working, if the website's not working, you're always welcome to put it in the uh, chat. It's just a good way for me to keep track of uh, whose points belong to who. All right. So with that in mind, we got nobody waiting, which is good. All right, so we'll get started. I hope everyone's got anything, everything. Um, if you need to interrupt us, if you have any questions, we need to just go over something, need clarification, just please let us know. We'll be keeping an eye on the chat, or you can just kind of, uh, you know, unmute yourself and ask. Okay, with that, let's get going. I can get this to go. There we go. All right. So category one is people. And I'm starting us off. All right. Let me just move all your faces away. There we go. All right. So question one for one point. Who was the longest reigning monarch ever? Question one for one point. Who was the longest reigning monarch ever? All right, moving on to question two. Question two for one point. Who was the first televised president of the U.S.? Uh, question two for one point. Who was the first televised United States president? All right, moving on to question three. Question three for one point. What is the famous pop band that was called Taurus Flowers up until 2001? Question three for one point. What was the famous pop band that was called Taurus Flowers up until 2001? Obviously, they have a different name right now. Okay. All right, moving on to question four. Question four for one point. Who won the first season of American Idol? Question four for one point. Who won the first season of American Idol? Question five for one point. What singer holds the most Grammy nominations? Question five for one point. What singer holds the most Grammy nominations? Moving on to question six. Question six for one point. What was Taylor Swift's first song to chart on the Billboard Hot 100? Question six for one point. What was Taylor Swift's first song to chart on the Billboard Hot 100. Okay, moving on to question seven. Question seven for one point. In what TV series did actor Tom Hanks co-star with Peter Scolari in the early 1980s? Question seven for one point. In what TV series did actor Tom Hanks co-star with Peter Scolari in the early 1980s. All right, moving on to question eight. Question eight for one point. 
What name is singer actor Stefani Ger? I'm sorry, I have to get closer. Germanata, a better known guy. Question eight for one point. What name is singer actor Stefani Germanata, better known by? I said pronunciation does not matter, and that holds true. <laughs> All right, moving on to question nine. Question nine for one point. Richard Richard Hatch is the very first winner of which reality TV show? Question nine for one point. Richard Hatch is the very first winner of which reality TV show? All right, moving on to question 10. Question 10 for one point. Uh, Bill Gates co-founded Microsoft with which of his childhood friends? And it's just one answer, so one person. Question 10 for one point. Bill Gates co-founded Microsoft with which of his childhood friends? Moving on to question 11. Question 11 for one point. Who was the first president to visit all 50 states? Question 11 for one point. Who was the first president to visit all 50 states? All right, moving on to question 12. Question 12 for one point. Where do U.S. vice presidents live? Question 12 for one point. Where do U.S. vice presidents live? Certain location. All right, very nice, very nice. Moving on to question 13. Question 13 for one point. What musician was awarded the first gold record? Question 13 for one point. What musician was awarded the first gold record? All right, moving on to question 14, the last in the category. Question 14 for one point. Who was the first American woman in space? Question 14 for one point. Who was the first American woman in space? Very nice. All right. So that is um, category number one. Let's see those answers. The total points that you can get in this category is 14. Let's see what we got here. Question one. The longest reigning monarch ever was Louis the... Oh, shoot. <laughs> 14 of France. Um, he reigned for 72 years and 110 days. So Louis the Fourteenth of France. All right, moving on to question two. Question two: Franklin Roosevelt was the first televised president. Question two was Franklin Roosevelt for one point. Moving on to question three. Um, question three, Maroon 5 was actually the famous pop band that was originally called Chorus Flowers up until 2001. Question three is Maroon 5 for one point. I wonder why they changed your name. <laughs> Moving on to question four, uh, Kelly Clarkson uh, won the first season of American Idol. Question four is Kelly Clarkson for one point. All right, moving on to question five. Uh, question five, the singer that with the most Grammy nominations is Beyonce. Um, just a little background, that would be 88 nominations with nine of them being uh, from with Destiny's Child when she was in that group. So question five is Beyonce for one point. Moving on to question six. Question six. Uh, so Taylor Swift's first song to chart in the Billboard Hot 100 is Kim McGraw. I didn't realize she had a song called that, but she did, and it was the first to chart. So question six is Kim McGraw, the song, um, for one point. All right, moving on to question seven. Question seven uh, is 
bosom buddies. I had no idea what this was, Jeanette, but <laughs> uh, that would be the TV series that actor Tom Hanks co-starred with Peter Scolari in the early 1980s. Question seven is bosom buddies for one point. All right, moving on to question eight. Question eight, the name of the, um, so this singer, actor, her real name, um, is Stefani Germanata. <laughs> uh, question eight was Lady Gaga. That is uh, her stage name. Uh, so Lady Gaga is, is question eight for one point. I will never say her name right. Okay, moving on to question nine. Question nine for one point was Survivor. Richard Hatch was the very first winner of the Survivor reality TV show that was so popular. The so question nine is Survivor for one point. All right. Question 10. Uh, Paul Allen for one point. Bill Gates co-founded Microsoft which, with his childhood friend of Paul Allen. So question 10 is Paul Allen for one point. Question 11 is Richard Nixon for one point. The very first president to visit all 50 states, once they had become states, was Richard Nixon. So question 11, Richard Nixon for one point. All right, question 12. Uh, all U.S. vice presidents live in the U.S. Naval Observatory on the grounds. Question 12 is the grounds of the U.S. Naval Observatory for one point. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, question 13. Uh, the musician, question 13 is Perry Como for one point. Uh, he was the first musician to be awarded the gold record. So question 13 is Perry Como for one point. All right, last question for the category. Question 14 is Sally Ride for one point. The first American woman in space was Sally Ride. So question 14 for one point is Sally Ride. All right, very nice. So that's it for uh, category number one. I'm gonna turn it back over to Jeanette. Hello, everybody. Um, so category two is Flora and Fauna. I kind of, we took liberties with what would fit into the categories since this was <laughs> surprise trivia. <laughs> and hopefully I can pronounce everything. Okay, let's start. Question one for two points. Name the only two mammals that lay eggs. Um, There's a thing in the chat, Jen. Yeah, I'll get it. Um, name the only two mammals that lay eggs. We had a little extra word in there. Oh, I goop, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm focusing <laughs> on the chat. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. For question two for one point. How many bones do sharks have? And that's question two for one point. How many bones do sharks have? Okay. Question three for one point. What creature has no teeth or stomach, mates for life, and is the only species on the earth where the male carries the unborn offspring? That's a lot of words for just one point. Um, <laughs> question <laughs> three. <laughs> for one point, what creature has no teeth or stomach, mates for life, Um, well, it's okay. Keep going. Go. Okay. Um, mates for life and is the only species on earth where the male carries the unborn offspring. 
Okay. Are we ready for the next one? <clears throat> Question four for one point. Name the largest living venomous lizard. Question four for one point. Name the largest living venomous lizard. Okay, are you ready for question five? What does, what does the bat use to navigate and locate its prey? What is it called? So that's question five for one point. What does the bat use to, nav to navigate and locate its prey? Okay, are we ready for question six? For one point, what is the fastest fish in the ocean that can reach up to 68 miles per hour? So question six, for one point, what is the fastest fish in the ocean that can reach up to 68 miles per hour? Okay, ready for question seven? For one point, what is the color of the most poisonous frog in the world? Question seven, one point. What is the color of the most poisonous frog in the world? Okay, question eight. For one point. Oh my God. <laughs> you chose this category. <laughs> what is sinophobia the fear of? Question eight. For one point, excuse mispronunciation, but what is sinophobia the fear of? Question nine, for one point. What animal is the largest land predator? Question nine, one point. What animal is the largest land predator? Okay, ready for question 10? Question 10 for one point. What is the oldest living thing on earth? Question 10 for one point. What is the oldest living thing on earth? Question 11. Question 11 for one point. What is the largest reef system called? Question 11, one point. What is the largest reef system called? Okay, question 12 for one point. What state has the longest freshwater shoreline? Question 12 for one point. What state has the longest freshwater shoreline? Okay, ready for the next one? Question 13 for one point. Which bird has the largest wingspan? Question 13 for one point. Which bird has the largest wingspan? Okay, the final question in this category, question 14 for one point. Which country has the most natural lakes? Question 14, one point. Which, which, which country has the most natural lakes? Got there. <laughs> I know, I was going to say, which question has the most natural lakes? Okay, is everyone... Ready for the answers? Let's see. Total points is 15 in this category. And here we go. Question one. Oh, God. <laughs> That's why you took the first one. Yeah, you, I, asked, I asked you. You chose it. I didn't put you on it. <laughs> Echidna and platypus are the only two mammals on Earth that lay eggs. Forgive pronunciation mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
question two. And that was two points, right? For that one. Uh, yes, yeah. Question two, how many bones are there in, do sharks have? Zero, it's all cartilage. So question two, zero bones. Question three. The seahorse has no teeth or stomach, mates for life, and is the only species on earth where the male carries the unborn offspring. So that would be the seahorse for one point. Question four. Komodo dragon is the largest living venomous lizard. Komodo dragon. Question five. Echolocation is what bats use to locate their prey and not bump into things. <laughs> Echolocation is what bats use. Question six. A sailfish is the fastest fish in the ocean that can reach up to 68 miles per hour. So question six for one point, sailfish. Question seven. Yellow is the color of the most poisonous frog in the world. Yellow. Question eight. For one point. Sinophobia is the fear of dogs. So question eight, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> question nine. The polar bear is the an the largest land predator. The largest animal land predator. Polar bear. Question 10. A bristle cone pine tree is the largest or the oldest living thing on earth. So we'll take pine tree. <laughs> uh, we'll take pine tree if you don't have the bristle cone. But if you wrote bristle cone and pine tree, then you can have two points. I'm feeling <laughs> generous tonight. <laughs> Kudos. <laughs> Question 11. Great Barrier Reef is the largest reef system in um, the world. Great Barrier Reef. Question 12. Michigan is the state that has the longest freshwater shoreline. I assume because it's on the Great Lakes. All those Great Lakes. <laughs> All those Great Lakes. So it's Michigan. Question 13. The albatross, which I was surprised because I thought it was like California condor or something like that. Um, but the albatross has the largest wingspan. Question 14. Canada is the country that has the most natural lakes. Canada. Okay. Add up your answers, keep track, and we'll go on to the next category. Take it away, Jen. Cool. All right. We're going on to sports and other stuff. <laughs> Very vague. <clears throat> Got that out of the way. All right. So category three, let's get going. Go question one for one point. Which country originated the sport of curling? Question one for one point. In which country originated the sport of curling? All right. Moving on to question two. Question two for one point. In what year were the first Air Jordan sneakers released? Question two for one point. In what year were the first Air Jordan sneakers released? All right, going on to question three. Question three for one point. Which athlete has won the most Olympic medals? Question three for one point. Which athlete has won the most Olympic medals? All right, moving on to question four. 
Question four for one point. Who is the all-time leading NBA scorer? Question four for one point. Who is the all-time leading NBA scorer? Moving on to question five. Question five for one point. How long is a marathon? Question five for one point. How long is a marathon? Going on to question six. Question six for one point. In which sport can you win the Davis Cup? Question six for one point. In which sport can you win the Davis Cup? Going on to question seven. Question seven for two points. What was Wilt Chamberlain's record for most points in a single game? And against which team? Question seven for two points. What was Wilt Chamberlain's record for most points in a single game? And against which team? Okay, moving on. There's a lot of information there. <laughs> Moving on to question eight. Question eight for one point. Oh, it's another doozy. I'm going to move all my screens away. There we go. Um, who pitched 749 games in his 22-year career, including a perfect game in 1904, and has an award for great pitchers named after him? So a lot of clues there. Question eight for one point. Who pitched 749 games in his 22-year career, including a perfect game in 1904, and has an award for great pitchers named after him? All right, moving on to question nine. Question nine for one point. How many people have walked on the moon? This is the other stuff. <laughs> question nine for one point. How many people have walked on the moon? All right, moving on to question 10. Question 10 for one point. Which of the planets in our solar system is the hottest? Question 10 for one point. Which of the planets in our solar system is the hottest? We went a little spacey. <laughs> All right, moving on to question 11. Uh, question 11 for one point. Africa is home to how many deserts? Question 11 for one point. Africa is home to how many deserts? Moving on to question 12. Question 12 for one point. We're going back into sports. Where did the Olympic Games originate? Question 12 for one point. Where did the Olympic Games originate? I'm looking for the country. All right, moving on to question 13 for one point. <laughs> I'm only now just seeing the category. Um, question 13 for one point. Vodka is made from which vegetable? <laughs> I don't know how to tie that in. Question 13 for one point. Vodka is made from which vegetable? All right, moving on to question 14, last in the category. Question 14 for one point. In which American state was the first McDonald's opened? Question 14 for one point. In which American state was the first McDonald's opened? All right, let's see those answers. Okay, so total points for this category is 15. Let's take a look. I just want to say that yeah. beating is a sport. What was yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. So question one, Scotland for one point. Um, so the score of curling originated in Scotland. Question one, Scotland for one point. Question two is 1984. Uh, 1984 was the year where the first Air Jordan sneakers were released. So question two is 1984 for one point. 
All right, and that's no surprise, but question three is Michael Phelps with his 28 medals. Uh, Michael Phelps was the athlete who has won the most Olympic medals so far for 28. We'll see what happens in the uh, Summer Olympics in Paris this year. All right, moving on to question four. Question four was LeBron James. He is the all-time leading NBA scorer. So question four was LeBron James for one point. Okay. Um, so a marathon is 26.2 miles. So question uh, five is 26.2 miles for one point. On to question six. Uh, so question six is tennis for one point. Uh, this is the score that you can win the Davis Cup. So question six, Dennis, uh, tennis, Dennis, uh, tennis for one point. All right, moving on to question seven. All right, so um, Wilt Chamberlain's record for most points in a single game was 100 points. And against the and the teams were Philadelphia Warriors against the New York Knicks in 1962. This means nothing to me. <laughs> um, the question seven for two points. Uh, first part was 100 points uh, for the record. And the uh, against which team was um, Philadelphia Warriors against the New York Knicks. So if you got either one of those right. All right, moving on to question eight. Um, so question eight is Cy Young for one point. Um, he pitched 749 games in his 23-year career, perfect game in 1904, and he has an award um, for great pitchers named after him. So question eight is Cy Young for one point. Question nine is 12 for one point. 12 people have walked on the moon. We're talking about going back, um, so we'll see what happens. But right now, it is just 12 people. Moving on to question 10. Question 10 for one point is Venus. Uh, Venus is uh, the hottest planet in our solar system. Question 10, Venus for one point. Question 11 is three. So Africa is home to actually just three deserts, but they're very, very big. So Africa has three deserts. I'm not gonna make you name up. <laughs> Moving on to question 12. Question 12 is Greece for one point. Uh, Greece is where the Olympic games originated, um, ancient Greece. Moving on to question 13, is potato for one point. Vodka is made from the vegetable of potatoes, potato vegetables. So question three is potato for one point. Moving on to question 14, last one. So um, uh, California for one point. Um, the very first McDonald's opened up in California. Very nice. All right, cool. So that concludes our category number three. I'm turning it over to Jeanette. Okay, another hodgepodge category for sure. Um, <laughs> what in the world? Everybody ready? Here we go. Question one for one point. The Fahrenheit and Celsius inter um, temperature scales intersect at one point and they equal at what temperature? So there's one point on both um, scales that um, they oh, are equal. It's actually two, two points, I'm sorry. Oh, what? Oh, no, it is one. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the answer. Sorry, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next, next one. Question two for two points. What is the deepest place on earth and where is it located? So question two for two points. What is the deepest place on earth and where is it located? Okay. 
Okay, ready for question three? Question three for one point. Who was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes? Question three for one point. Who was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes? Okay, ready for question four for one point. What is the only continent without an active volcano? Question four, one point. What is the only continent without an active volcano? Okay, ready for question five? For one point, which is colder, the North Pole or the South Pole? Question five, for one point, which is colder, the North Pole or the South Pole? Okay, question six, for one point, which country has the largest number of pyramids? This is a trick question. Question mm -hmm. six for one point, that's a hint. Which question has the largest number of pyramids? Question seven for one point. Which is the only metal to be in liquid form at room temperature? Question seven, one point. Which is the only metal to be in liquid form at room temperature? Question eight, for one point. The Da Vinci Code opens with a murder in which famous museum? Question eight, one point. The Da Vinci Code opens with a murder in which famous museum? Question nine, for one point. How many pounds are in a ton? Question nine, for one point. How many pounds are in a ton? Question 10, for two points. What's the best-selling Christmas single of all time and who sang it? Question 10 for two points. What's the best-selling Christmas single of all time and who sang it? Question 11 for one point. Which U.S. state is the only state to grow coffee beans? Question 11 for one point. Which U.S. state is the only state to grow coffee beans? Okay, ready for the next one? For one point, question 12. What was the very first video ever played on MTV? <laughs> <laughs> question 12 for one point. What was the very first video ever played on MTV? Okay, question 13 for one point. How long is an eon? Question 13 for one point. How long is an eon? Okay, and the last question in this category, what in the world? Question 14 for one point. How many bones are in the human body? Question 14 for one point. How many bones are in the human body? Okay, are you ready to see those answers? You can get a total of 16 points in this category, so let's go. Question one, minus 40 degrees Celsius and minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit are the same temperature. They're equal temperatures. That, that's where the um, scales intersect. Okay, question two. The Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean, and that was for two points. So the deepest place is the Mariana Trench, and it is located in the Pacific Ocean. Question three. 
Marie Curie was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes. Marie Curie. Okay, question four. Australia is the only continent without an active volcano. So Australia, that's good. My, uh, my stepson and daughter-in-law and grandchildren live there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm happy for them. They have other things to worry about. <laughs> I really like the 10 most poisonous <laughs> insects and animals on earth. Okay, so question five. The South Pole is cold is colder than the North Pole. The South Pole is colder. Question six. Sudan is the country that has the largest number of pyramids. Sudan. Okay, question seven. Mercury is the only metal to be in liquid form at room temperature. So I have to tell you in fifth grade, Mrs. Fallon was my teacher <laughs> and she had this little vial of mercury that she had in her desk. And if there was nothing else to do, she would put it in her hand and show it to all of us. So, and that it's extremely poisonous. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was before anyone knew. Okay. Question eight. Wow. Well, you made it. <laughs> That's scary. The Louvre is the um, museum which um, the Da Vinci Code begins with the murder. <laughs> <laughs> that was all in uh, not the right order. Um, question eight, it's the Louvre. Okay, question nine. 2,000 pounds are in a ton. 2,000 pounds. Question 10. This was for two points. And this is a nod to my favorite volunteer at the Lucy Robbins Wells Library, Bob Larson. Mm -hmm. So White Christmas by Bing Crosby was the, is the best-selling Christmas single of all time. White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Question 11. Hawaii is the only state that can grow coffee beans. So their, their climate is um, conducive for growing coffee beans. So Hawaii. Question 12. <laughs> the first video ever played on MTV was Video Killed the Radio Star. So that would be Video Killed the Radio Star, first ever video on MTV. Question 13. One billion years is um, the length of an eon. A billion years. And our final question for this category, there are 206 bones in the human body. 206 bones more than a shark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so add up your um your answers and I'm turning it over to Jen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're moving on to category number five, all about words. Let's see what we got. So question number one for one point. What is the longest English word without a vowel? Question one for one point. What is the longest English word without a vowel? Question two. Question two for one point. What is the shortest complete sentence in the English language? Question two for one point. What is the shortest complete sentence in the English language? We're in English class today. <laughs> All right, moving on to question three for one point. What letter is not used in any of the state's names? Question three for one point. What letter is not used in any of the state's names? All right, moving on to question four for one point. Name the best-selling book series of the 21st century. Oh, recent. Question four for one point. 
named the best-selling book series of the 21st century. Ooh. All right, moving on to question five. Question five for one point. According to dictionary entries, which language has the most words? Question five for one point. According to dictionary entries, which language has the most words? Question six. Question six for one point. What? <laughs> I didn't know this. What is the tiny piece at the end of a shoelace called? It actually has a name. Question six for one point. What is the tiny piece at the end of a shoelace called? Moving on to question seven. Question seven for one point. A group of crows is called what? Question seven for one point. A group of crows is traditionally called what? Moving on to question eight. Question eight for one point. Which mystery writer holds the Guinness World Record for the most translated works? Question eight for one point. Which mystery, she, uh, he or she only wrote mystery, which mystery writer holds the Guinness World Record for the most translated works? That's a little bit ahead. Moving on to question nine. Question nine for one point. What is the name of the pig in the book Charlotte's Web? Question nine for one point. What's the name of the pig in the book Charlotte's Web? Question 10. Question 10 for one point. Call Me Ishmael is the first line from what classic novel? Question 10 for one point. Call Me Ishmael is the first line from what classic novel? All right, question 11. Question 11 for one point. What was the first message sent by Morse code? Question 11 for one point. What was the first message sent by Morse code? A bit of a hard one. Mm -hmm. Moving on to question 12. Oh, not that wrong direction. <laughs> there we go. Question 12 for one point. Which breakfast cereal is advertised with the slogan, Snap, Crackle, and Pop? Question 12 for one point. Which breakfast cereal is advertised with the slogan, Snap, Crackle, and Pop? Moving on to question 13. Question 13 for one point. What notable astronomer penned the 1980s best-selling book, Cosmos? Question 13 for one point. What notable astronomer penned the 1980 best-selling book, Cosmos? It was also made into a television series. Or special. It was on TV. <laughs> All right, moving on to our last question. Question 14 for one point. Who was the scientist that filed 1,093 patents alone? Question 14 for one point. Who is the scientist that filed 1,093 patents alone? All right. Great. Let's see those answers. The total points for this category is 15. Let's see what we got. All right. Question one. The longest, um, sorry, the longest English world without a vowel is rhythm. So question one is rhythm for one point. Question two, the shortest complete sentence in the English language is I am. Question two is I am for one point. All right, moving on to question three. Uh, the letter that is not used in any of the state's names is Q. So question three is Q for one point. Question four, Harry Potter, of course. So question four is Harry Potter series for one point with over 600 million copies sold. It's the best selling book series of the 21st century.
Moving on to question five. Question five, of course, is English with uh, for one point. According to dictionary entries, which language has the most words? It is English. Supposedly, you're the hardest language to learn. because We have so many words and rules that don't make sense. <laughs> so question five is English for one point. All right, moving on to question six. Um, so question six is Aglet for one point. This is the tiny piece at the end of a shoelace. So question six is Aglet for one point. Never knew that. Question seven is murder for one point. A group of crows is called a murder, a murder of crows. So question seven is murder for one point. Question eight is Agatha Christie for one point. Um, so Agatha Christie was a uh, mystery writer who holds the Guinness World Record for the most translated works. So question eight is Agatha Christie for one point. Right, question nine is Wilbur for one point. Wilbur was the name of the pig in the book Charlotte's Web. So question nine is Wilbur for one point. Question 10 is Moby Dick for one point. Uh, Call Me Ishmael is the first line from Moby Dick. So question 10 is Moby Dick for one point. <laughs> Taking your for this. Question 11, what hath God wrought? <laughs> I guess that's, you know, before they got into the SOS, but uh, question 11 is what hath God wrought um, for one point was the first message sent by Morse code before they figured maybe they should shorten it up. <laughs> um, so question 11 is that for one point. <laughs> She's laughing at me. <laughs> All right, moving on to question 12. Question 12 is Rice Krispies for one point. Um, Rice Krispies was a breakfast cereal with the advertisement uh, slogan of snack, crackle, crackle and pop. So question 12 is Rice Krispies for one point. Question 13 is Carl Sagan for one point. Uh, Carl Sagan was a notable astronomer who penned the 1980 bestselling book Cosmos and also did a uh, TV series. Question 13, Carl Sagan for one point. All right, last one. Question 14 is Thomas Edison for one point. Uh, Thomas Edison was a scientist that filed um, 1,093 patents alone, patented everything. All right, so that is our five categories. Um, so the total for everything is up to 74 points. Um, put this in here. Um, so we get our five categories. We also have a bonus round after this that we'll get into as well. Um, but here's the reminder to please submit your info with the link below. It's also in the chat, so you can just click on that um, uh, uh, link and it will take you to a form that you can fill out with your, so we can have your contact information um, as well as your points. But if it doesn't work, you are welcome to put it in the chat. Just if you're okay with other people seeing it, great. Um, or you can send it directly to me. Um, so while you're doing that, we'll move all, uh, into the bonus round as well. Sound good, Jeanette? Sounds great. And actually, because I gave people extra points, you, <laughs> you might have someone that got 75 points. Sure. <laughs> and, um, oh, what else was I going to say? I don't know. I can't remember. Okay, um, you'll remember. <laughs> okay, well, it's everybody done tallying their points? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I remember. Um, if you have more than one person, <clears throat> excuse me, playing on your team. Could you let us know how many people were there? Because every person counts in our statistics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you do the link, if you do the form, that question is asked. If you, that doesn't work, please include that in the chat as well. So we'll move on to bonus round. I'm gonna make Jeanette do it. And this is not for any point, so. Just for fun. Just okay. for fun. You ready? Mm -hmm. Still here, if you want to pursue more trivia, join us for the bonus round. No points this time, just more quizzing. Just for the fun of it. 
Okay, question one. What is the only food that doesn't spoil? Question one for one point. What are no for no points because no points. <laughs> it doesn't count. what is the only food that doesn't spoil? Question two. What continent is spread throughout the four hemispheres? What continent is spread throughout four hemispheres? Okay, question three. What's the smallest country in the world? Question three, what's the smallest country in the world? Question four. In what country did the first Starbucks open outside of North America? So what was the first country that opened a Starbucks besides, of course, they started in the U.S. So that's question four. Question five. Where were the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights stored during World War II? Question five, where were the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights stored during World War II? Question six, when did Facebook first launch? Question six, when did Facebook, Facebook first launch? Okay, question seven. What is the longest running Broadway show? Question seven. What is the longest running Broadway show? Question eight. Besides elephants and rhinoceroses, what other animals are considered pachyderms? Besides elephants and, rhino and rhinoceroses, what other animals are considered pachyderms? Question nine. What is the oldest soft drink in America? Question nine. What is the oldest soft drink in America? Question 10. Which condiment was used as medicine during the 1830s? Question 10, which condiment was used as medicine during the 1830s? Okay, question 11. What was the first toy to be advertised on television? Question 11, what was the first toy to be advertised on television? Okay, question 12. What is the human body's largest organ? Question 12. What is the human body's largest organ? Question 13. By law, every citizen of Kentucky must do what annually? I don't know. <laughs> it's funny question 13 by law every citizen of Kentucky must do what annually question 14 how many moons does Neptune have question 14 how many moons does Neptune have Okay, are you ready for the answers? Okay, let's see those answers, Jen. Question <laughs> one, honey is the only food that does not spoil. Question two, Africa is the continent that is spread throughout four hemispheres. Question three, the Vatican is the smallest country in the world. The Vatican. 
Question four. Japan was the first country outside the U.S. that opened a Starbucks. Question five. The important documents, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights were stored at Fort Knox. Question six. 2004 saw the launch of Facebook, 2004. Question seven. The Phantom of the Opera is the longest running Broadway show. Phantom of the Opera. Question eight. A hippopotamus is the other animal that is considered a pachyderm besides the elephants and rhinoceroses. Question nine. Dr. Pepper is the oldest soft drink in America. Dr. Pepper. Question 10. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's my favorite condiment. Ketchup. I must be really healthy. Is um <laughs> was used as medicine during the 1830s. Question 11. Mr. Potato Head was the first toy to be advertised on television on April 30th, 1952. Question 12. Skin is the largest organ in the human body or on the human body. So that would be skin. Question 13. <laughs> By law, every citizen in Kentucky must take a bath or a shower at least once a year. I don't know how they enforce that. Maybe it's a health <laughs> test or something, but um, okay. And our last question in our bonus round is 14. <laughs> wow, the question was 14. Did I? Oh, do that? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that was a hint. I don't know. 14. Neptune has 14 moons. So um, hope everyone had fun. Remember to submit your answers. Um, and uh, Jen, do you have a slide for the next I do. There it is. <laughs> so Friday, March 15th at 7 p.m., we're going to do another Disney um, with new questions and um, trivia night. So the 15th of March, we hope to see you there. And um, have a magical rest of your <laughs> week. <laughs> yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank have you. a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.